Hey everybody, Patty Ann here for just a quick little minute today. Um, there was a discussion going on on one of the Embrilliance groups on Facebook and people were asking, you know, what do you prefer using, a mouse or a pen when you're digitizing? And I can tell you hands down that I really enjoy using the pen. I just got this recently. I'll have a link for it for you down below for the one that I got just so you can see what it's all about. But right now I've opened a design and this design actually is an SVG. So I think that must mean that I'm in Stitch Artist level three. I'm not positive. But what's neat about an SVG if you bring it in is it comes in if you look over here with all the individual pieces already ready for you. So for example, if I were to click on one of these to highlight it, it gets highlighted over here. And I can simply come up here, turn on Stitch Artist, and um, fill it, make it a fill stitch. And, and I can come over here and I can change its color if I'd like. And there we go. So that is the beauty of bringing in SVGs. And for those of you who know how to create SVG, SVGs, because you've been with me for a long time learning to use Silhouette Studio Business Edition, this will be a breeze for you guys. But anyway, let's scroll in. And one of the ways they recommend you scroll in, at least uh, John Deere does, is at a certain percentage. So what I'm saying is this, if I come down here and click the little keyboard with my pen, it opens up my keyboard right here. I can go to the one, two, threes, and I'll do this at 300%, just like that. And then it's ready to go. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the little hand pen, pan tool over here, which I guess is just about out of your sight. It's right over here. And that allows me to pan this around however I'd want. So as I showed you, I could just click on this and do it as a fill stitch. But let's imagine that all I've done is brought in a drawing. So this time what I can do is I can come up here to Stitch Artist again, and I can come over here and I can do, you know, um, let's see, let's, uh, put in your points. <laughs> What's it called? Okay. Anyway, I'm going to input the point and put the points one by one. So in other words, I go click. I'm not even clicking, I'm just hitting hitting the screen with my uh, pen tool. So I can go like this and go around this thing pretty darn fast. When I get down here, I can do the Alt or the Control key so that I get nice angles. And then I can say, close it. So there it is, there's my shape. You're saying, but Patty Ann, that looks like crap. <laughs> I'd have to agree, but with this tool, I can just double click here. I added another node. Um, I can fix these nodes, can work around, fix. Let's see, do I wanna fix this one a little bit maybe? There we go. Maybe I wanna add one right here to double that up. And I can add one here to make it go down, add one here. So this is one way you can do it. Draw with points there, that's what it's called. Okay, there's draw with points. And if I was satisfied with my drawing at this point, I could go ahead and make it a fill. Just like that, simple. And see these lines right here, these are the inclination lines. I could change them so it has it going like this so it looks more realistic. If I really wanted to make it look realistic for a petal, I could come way over here to where it says curved, click on that, and then that's gonna allow me to curve these stitches. See how they're curving now? Okay, curve them, and that's kind of cool. But again, you'd wanna make sure that you do a test sew so that you can see it's working the way you want it to. But that's not all. Here's the real reason why I love using this pen tool, is if you come up here to Stitch Artist, and, oops, turn it on, come to this little pen guy right here, and then you don't even need to click, click, click by hitting and hitting the screen. I'm simply tracing this by drawing on it and not worrying too much because this is just for show. And then I hit the you know, close button to close it. So now we already have this all drawn. All I have to do now again is move the nodes a little bit if I'd like to. 
And once I'm satisfied with where all the nodes are, I can go ahead. Now this is probably, I probably would want to scroll into this closer so I could see, use the hand and move over. Whoopsie, get this. And then I can kind of better see what I've got going on right here. This is the one I'm working on. So I gotta go back to Stitch Artist and I think I will uh, scroll into the selection if I hit the S in the compass rows. So now I can see, and so if I wanna move these, look how much easier it is, oops, to move these when I'm in Stitch Artist and I'm using the pen tool. It's just so much easier than using a clunky mouse. Somebody said, uh, when you are trying to digitize something that's really detailed, you using a pen tool is like using a brush, but if you're using your mouse, it's kind of like using a brick to go around to do things. Ah, uh, not my words. Somebody else said that, but I kind of almost agree with it. So again, here we are, and I could go ahead and do this as a fill stitch. I could change the inclinations, and I could change the color by coming over here. If I want something that's already in the palette, I could choose something there. And one more thing I could do if I wanted to is I can take this fill over here and click on it to select it. I could come up here to copy and paste. So now there's a second one. On the second one, if I wanted to, I could make it a satin border instead. And of course, probably want to change how wide it is. Awfully wide satin border. Okay. And I could change it a different color if I wanted to, but let's, well, let's see. Let me make it a little bit, oopsie, smaller. And there we go. Okay, so let's just see now if we uh, go back here and we go to hoop. And we make 3D on this fill. Okay. And so now I could actually come up here, click on all of it, and there you can see it. Now, if I wanted to, of course, I could come here, whoopsie, as well, this satin border. Maybe I want to make it a different color. Maybe I want to make it purple. Okay, that'd be kind of weird, but different. And maybe I'll do a border on this one. Nah, nah, I won't do all that. But anyway, you get the idea. Again, if I wanted to do this little statement, I think it's called in the center, just scroll in and come down. Scroll out a little bit. Come down. Okay, there we go. Now, since this is an SVG, as I said, I could just click on this and fill it. But let's pretend like it's just an image that I have here that I'm, I'm tracing. So again, I could come up here, turn on my Stitch Artist, or my create mode and come here to this pen and just start wherever I decide. Just go like this. And you can be go as slowly as you want. I'm just going quickly for you guys. And then I'd want to do that. And now I could move these nodes over so they follow the path more where I want them to. Double click to add a point. And to me, this is really easy peasy. And I can move this guy down. And you could just putz with this for as long as you'd like. A little bit of a jumble up here. I probably want to double click on some of these nodes to get rid of some of them. There we go. And to me, that looks pretty good. So then again, of course, I could come up here and I could just fill it. There's a motif fill. I could change its color to something that's already in here, maybe make it orange. Or if I don't want something that's already in the design, come to threads and just click on maybe a yellow, green gold. Okay. And again, if I want to see the whole thing, what it looks like, hoop. And do something like that. 
There we go. So that's the difference for me. I really like using this pen. For me, it's a lot easier because I can just come up here and draw with points and I don't have to, whoopsie, don't have to wear out my thumb by, or my pointer finger by click, click, clicking. All I have to do is tap, tap, tap. If I want to make a cusp, I hold down this button over here that I've designated as the shift. If I want to make a straight line, I hold down this other button. Then if I want to change all of this to stitches, I can, well, right now it is a run stitch. And of course I could change it over here, the type of run that it is. Could come up here and change it to many different things. Okay, I hope you like this tutorial. Hey, if you're in the market to get one of these tablets, Check out the one I got. I really like it a lot. I highly recommend it. That's it. Thanks again. Bye.